What's good, YouTube? IQ, come back to you guys in our video today, man. Uh, today we got the second official build video. As you guys can see by the title, it's a 76 badge build. You're able to do everything on this build, able to run at one through five. You can play people on the perimeter with this build. You can play people in the paint with this build. You don't really get dunked on like that. You guys know contact dunks are crazy this year. You can shoot well with this build. It, it, this build overall is just a lot of fun to play with. It, it is it is what everybody is making and it's what what you're required to make to you know be able to succeed this year in NBA 2K21 next gen because the game is just filled with demigods. But I'm gonna show you how to make my six, seven build right now. I'm gonna show you how to make the build first off. I'm gonna show you the badges that I use. I'm gonna show you the 99 overall stats. Like I have the build max, I'm gonna show you um, what all the stats look like look like at 99 overall and then after that I'm gonna finish the video With no um, voiceover, but just clips of what I'm doing What I was doing with the build when it wasn't even maxed and if you want to see what my build be doing all the time You can go check out all my twitch. I'll be streaming every single day Make sure you guys go drop a follow over there But like I said, I'm about to show you the build right now if you guys haven't already make sure you guys subscribe Turn the post notifications beyond that grind to 20,000 subscribers Drop a like on this video if you do enjoy. And if you end up making this build, let me know down in the comments below. But uh, yeah, let, let's hop right into the Black Player Builder. Let me show you guys how to make this build. Let me stop wasting your time. Let's get it. Into the My Player Builder we go. Obviously, you have the position. It is not a point guard. It's not a shooting guard. It's not a small forward. Power forwards are very OP this year. Um, based off of what everyone has tried to do in the my player builder when it comes to making builds power forward is the build that gives you the most badges in your, every single category and you still basically move like a guard with an 85 speed which i'm going to show you right now so position power forward make sure you make power forwards this year do not make point guards i'm telling you right now you're going to struggle if you make a point guard unless you're a threes player that might be an exception but on the twos if you don't have a power forward you're screwed Everybody runs two six sevens and you just don't want to put yourself through that jersey number obviously doesn't matter handedness is up to you Getting into the height you have him at six seven six seven for the height weight lowest weight So 210 pounds and then the wingspan of seven foot me personally I've been liking the body shape of built. I've been going with built for all my builds Even if it's a short guard a center, whatever it is. I like built. I recommend built Heading into the stats, you're going to start off with a 95 driving dunk. You're going to put the driving layup all the way up. So you already off rip at 99. You're going to get a 99 driving dunk and a 98 driving layup. A standing dunk, put that to a 73. So you get the 12 finishing badges. Then for the shooting, you put the mid range to a 94 just for shooting badges. 3.89. So you have a high three-pointer, you're gonna have a 93 three-pointer and almost a 99 mid-range, 98 mid-range, 93 three. Free throw, you're gonna put it a 60, the lowest 22. So as you guys can see, it goes from 21 to 22. So the 61 free throw. Pass accuracy, you put that in 84. Ball handle all the way up, speed with ball all the way up. Make sure those are always all the way up when you're making a the power forward build or um, the point guard build. But like I said, I recommend power forwards over point guards. As you guys can see, I mean, you can get one extra badge. You get the Hall of Fame dimer, but then it messes up your physicals. But like I said, you can um, mess with the build however you want to. This is just how I made my build. And you know what I'm saying? I'm showing you exactly how I did it. Defensive rebound all the way up. Offensive rebound all the way up. Block is maxed as well. Do not touch the steel. Put the perimeter defense maxed. And then you do not touch interior defense. Then going down to the physicals, 85, 81, 70 vertical, and a 95 stamina. So you make sure once you hit 99, you get that 99 stamina, that max stamina that you need to be able to compete at the highest level. But yeah, this is the build stat wise. As you guys can see, you get a lot of really good stats. In the defensive category as well, you get 99 perimeter defense, um, 96 defensive rebound, close to a 90 offensive rebound, close to a 90 block, and you get a good amount of defensive badges as well. This build is really good. And as you guys can see, the badges add up to 12, 22, that's 34, 
plus 24 that's 58 and then plus another 18 that is 76 badges so if you are to hit legend on this build you will get 116 badges which compared to 2k20 is actually crazy because it was rare you had to have a two-way slash and playmaker to get the hunter badge legend build so just seeing this and what you're able to do this year yes there's the 84 badge build and obviously you can go make that but this is the build i made and it's very similar to that there's just a, a few less badges here and there but this has done me a lot of justice and i've been able to improve my park record massively got went from like a 61 percent to like a 75 but you know you know you guys get the rest you're gonna be able to see the build you're gonna be able to make it and you're, you're gonna see for yourself uh takeovers there's a few different options honestly um you can either what i've been testing i went with spot up and pull up as the first option first option go with spot up and pull up uh if you don't like that you can go with bull sharp takeovers so you get spot up and limitless that's another option that i've been messing with um another one i go with is spot up and the impact takeover where's the impact one spot up and impact here it is this is another one i've been going with as well um, if you don't like spot up as your primary, you can go a limitless and easy blow buys. This is another good one. Takeovers are obviously up to you, but if I were to tell you any takeovers to choose, the ones I went with were uh, spot up at the with the first one, and then pull up with the second one. Because with this, with a fading three, with a sh um, a standing three, you get takeover in two shots with Hall of Fame hotshot. And I'll show, I'll, I'll show and explain what I mean in a different video. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel to uh, make sure you see that. But yeah, those are takeovers. Okay, let me just press yes. As you guys can see right here, you have built an offensive threat. It's not a scoring machine. It's something, you know what I'm saying, somewhat unique. Shades of Jason Tatum, Zion Williamson, and Pascal. I'm not even going to try and say his last name. I'm not trying to crucify it. But into the badges we go. 99 overall the finishing category you have heat seeker which is basically hot shot in the finishing category as you guys can see it gives gives an additional takeover boost on inside shots so it basically boosts your takeover when you take a layup when you take a dunk whatever it is posterizer hall of fame you got a hall of fame posterizer on this build which was different to my guard build which i posted earlier in the year when i you know what i'm saying figured out the build maker a little bit more and then i put slithery finisher on hall of fame those are the three finishing badges I use right there. You can obviously change it however you want to if you don't like those. Shooting badges, I go with deep threes gold. Sadly, you only get deep threes gold on this build, but I'm still able to shoot crazy shots. And uh, you're going to be able to see it, you know what I'm saying, in the clips in the end of the video. Um, Hot Zone Hunter Hall of Fame. Blinders, must have shooting badge. Very OP. Basically eliminates side contests completely. Blinders Hall of Fame. You got Hot Shot Hall of Fame as well. I throw on Deadeye uh, Bronze. I don't touch difficult shots. Green Machine, you can throw that on gold. Um, after that, I threw Tireless here. And then I threw on the Volume Shooter as well. And actually, no, no, no. I didn't do Tireless. I didn't do Tireless. I did Gold Deadeye. I did Gold Deadeye. So you get Hall of Fame Blinders, Hot Shot, and Hot Zone Hunter. And then you get Gold Deadeye, Gold Deep Threes, and Gold Green Machine. You don't need difficult shots this year. You don't need volume. You don't need tireless. You're basically able to shoot the same no matter the amount of stamina you have. As long as you're able to time your shot and you know your jump shot well, you'll be good. These are the good shooting badges you should have. Um, playmaking. Obviously, I go with the Handles for Days Hall of Fame. Quick First Step Hall of Fame. Bailout on Bronze. Ankle Breaker on Gold. Unpluckable Hall of Fame. People say it works good on Bronze, but after seeing how many times I get ripped... Uh, I I personally think it's gonna Hall of Fame, Bullet Passer Hall of Fame as well. We got four upgrades left. You can you have room to work with here. You can throw in that special delivery to get that team takeover team takeover off rip. If you want to throw a flashy pass to your teammate and get takeover for your whole team um, in whatever game you're playing, you can throw on that Hall of Fame dimer. But I throw on the Hall of Fame Space Creator. The Space Creator plus the Ankle Breaker this year is a very good combination. It helps you get open very well. Creates a lot of ankle breakers. And you're able to create open space for yourself to, you know what I'm saying, shoot a jump shot, take a dunk, whatever it is. So there's the playmaking. 
And then the defense, just realized I missed one shooting. They're Hall of Fame Deadeye, <laughs> my fault. Okay, and then for this, you get Hall of Fame Clamps, um, Gold Intimidator, which at least you get Intimidator on this build, but then with a guard build, you don't get any Intimidator at all, depending on how you make it. Rim Protector Hall of Fame. Uh, you go with the Rebound Chaser Gold, the Chase Down Artist Hall of Fame. People say Ankle Braces is a good badge to have, but like, I don't know. I've just never really like, like the badge like that. You don't need Pick Dodger. From what I've seen, Pick Dodger does literally nothing. I have, I have yet to use Pick Dodger this year. Let me know down in the comments if I'm wrong, but I have not been using Pick Dodger. Uh, so yeah, Hall of Fame Chase Down, Clamps, and Rim Protector. Then you got Gold, Intimidator, and Rebound Chaser. Okay. Those are the badges. That is how you make the build. Um, we're about to hop onto my max 99 overall build right now. And I'm going to show you what this build looks like maxed at 99 overall. It's actually crazy. Let me show you guys. Just loaded into the park. As you guys can see, we're officially now in SS2. The next video you guys see after this build video will be me hitting SS3. I am currently at 95%. But you guys don't you guys don't care about that. You're here to see the build at 99. Let me move my face cam. Or let me just turn it off actually. These are the stats with the build maxed at 99 overall. 99 driving dunk, 98 driving layup, close to an 80 standing dunk. Almost a max mid-range, 93 three-pointer. You have a decent free throw if you're a pro on player, you're a rec player, you have that free throw. You have 88 pass accuracy, 88 ball handle, 88 speed with ball, 99 perimeter defense. So basically you're a lockdown when it comes to perimeter defense. You're able to guard, you're gonna be able to guard people very well. You got basically max physicals besides strength, 89 speed, 85 acceleration, 99 stamina. And if you add the um, if you add the the physicals with the gym rat, I don't know if it adds on this year. I honestly haven't seen it yet. But if it's the same as 2K20, the gym rat adds another plus four onto all those attributes. So just think you might have a 93 speed, 89 acceleration, and almost an 80 vertical. That's, that's the whole build right there. That's how you make the build. That's the badges I showed you what to use along with what the build looks like at 99 overall once it's maxed. To finish out the video, I'm gonna show you guys, you know, like four to five clips. Uh, with a little instrumental behind it of what the build does when it's not even max. These clips were not even when I hit 99 overall. They're like a little bit before that, before I had the build fully badged out, fully maxed out with overall and everything. But I appreciate you guys. If you did make it to the end of the video, make sure you guys drop a like once again, if you did enjoy, subscribe, uh, turn on the post notifications. We got bangers coming all year. 100K subscribers is our goal, nothing less. Other than that, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll let you guys watch a few clips. I'm out. Peace.